Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Now that we've shared a laugh, let's dive into our topic for today. We're going to explore the world of food, specifically the great debate between organic and conventional foods. It's a topic that's been on everyone's lips, and today, we're going to sink our teeth into it. We'll be peeling back the layers, dishing up some facts, and having a heap of fun along the way. So, prepare to bite into the juicy details of our topic. First, we're going to peel back the layers on organic foods. Now, you've probably heard the term organic thrown around a lot, but what exactly does it mean? Simply put, organic foods are grown or produced without the use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, or genetically modified organisms, commonly known as GMOs. They're the foods that take us back to the basics, the way nature intended, free from artificial substances and genetic manipulation. But it's not just about what's not used. Organic farming also involves practices that foster the cycling of resources, promote ecological balance, and conserve biodiversity. It's a holistic approach, aimed at sustaining the health of soils, ecosystems, and people. Organic foods encompass various categories, from fruits, vegetables, and grains, to dairy products, meat, and even processed foods. But not all products with a green label are genuinely organic. For a food product to be officially termed organic, it must meet certain regulations and standards set by government bodies. In the United States, for instance, the Department of Agriculture has a national organic program that certifies crops, livestock, and processed foods as organic if they meet the specified criteria. These regulations ensure that the organic label isn't just a marketing gimmick, but a guarantee of quality and a testament to sustainable farming practices. Now, you might be wondering how can I identify organic foods? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Organic foods are usually marked with a USDA organic label or a similar certification depending on the country. This label assures you that the product meets the organic standards set by the certifying agency. So, when you choose organic, you're not just opting for a healthier plate, you're also supporting a system of agriculture that respects the environment and works in harmony with it. Now that we understand what organic foods are, it's time to take a look at their conventional counterparts. But remember, the choice between organic and conventional foods is not just about health, it's also about the impact we're making on the world around us. Let's dive deeper into that in the next section. Let's unpack the world of conventional foods. Often when we think about food, we picture the end product on our plate. However, the journey that food takes from field to fork is equally as important. Conventional foods are those produced using traditional farming methods, which often include the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. These methods have been honed over decades to maximize productivity and minimize crop loss. Contrastingly, organic foods are grown without the use of these synthetic aids. Instead, organic farming relies on natural processes and materials, such as compost and manure, to nourish crops and control pests. This means that while organic farming may be more labor-intensive and yield less product, it avoids the potential hazards associated with synthetic chemicals. There are a few common misconceptions about conventional foods that should be addressed. For one, many people believe that conventional foods are inherently less healthy or lower quality than their organic counterparts. However, this is not necessarily true. The nutritional value of a food is determined by its content, not its method of production. A conventionally grown apple and an organically grown apple both contain essential vitamins and fiber, despite their differing cultivation methods. Another misconception is that all conventional foods are laden with harmful chemicals. While it's true that conventional farming often involves the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, these substances are heavily regulated to ensure they pose minimal risk to human health. Furthermore, many farmers employ integrated pest management strategies which minimize the use of chemicals by incorporating biological and environmental controls. Finally, let's tackle the belief that conventional foods are bad for the environment. While it's true that some conventional farming practices can contribute to pollution and soil degradation, it's also true that these methods have allowed us to produce food on a scale unimaginable just a century ago. It's a complex issue that requires a nuanced understanding of agriculture and its impact on the environment. Having explored both organic and conventional foods, let's compare their impacts on our health. Before we dive deeper, do remember to hit that like button, subscribe and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Your interaction fuels our passion to bring you more quality content. So don't hold back, join the conversation. Alright, back to our main topic. 
So, what can organic foods do for your health? Let's dive into this intriguing question. Organic foods have been touted as a healthier alternative to conventional foods, and they've certainly gained popularity over the years. First, let's talk about nutrients. Some studies suggest that organic foods may have higher nutritional value compared to their conventional counterparts. For instance, a study published in the British Journal of Nutrition found that organic crops had significantly higher concentrations of antioxidants. This means that by choosing organic, you might be getting a bit more nutritional bang for your buck. Another potential health benefit of organic food is related to pesticides. Conventional farming often employs synthetic pesticides, residues of which can remain on or in the food we eat. Organic farming, on the other hand, uses natural pesticides and methods like crop rotation to control pests. While the jury is still out on the long-term health impacts of synthetic pesticide exposure, some people choose organic to limit their exposure just in case. But it's not all rosy in the garden of organic foods. One of the challenges is affordability. Organic foods typically cost more, which may make it difficult for some people to incorporate them into their diets consistently. Also, it's worth noting that just because a food is organic doesn't necessarily mean it's healthier overall. For example, organic sugar is still sugar, and consuming it in excess can lead to health problems like obesity and heart disease. Finally, it's important to keep in mind that the organic label doesn't guarantee a product is free from all contaminants. For instance, organic foods can still be contaminated by natural toxins, bacteria, and fungi. To wrap it up, organic foods may offer some health benefits like potentially higher nutrient content and fewer synthetic pesticides. However, they also come with a few potential pitfalls, like higher cost and the misconception that all organic products are inherently healthy. So, organic foods have their merits, but what about conventional foods? Are conventional foods the villains they're often made out to be? Let's take a moment to delve into the health impacts of conventional foods. Unlike their organic counterparts, conventional foods are produced using modern agricultural techniques, which often include the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. While these methods can lead to higher crop yields and more affordable prices, they may also come with some health concerns. Firstly, there's the issue of pesticide residue. While regulations exist to ensure that the levels of pesticides in our food are safe, some studies suggest that long-term exposure to low levels of these chemicals could potentially impact our health. This might include an increased risk of certain types of cancer, hormonal disruptions, and even neurological problems. Then there's the question of nutritional value. Some research has indicated that organic foods may contain higher levels of certain nutrients compared to conventional foods. However, the overall consensus among scientists is that the nutritional difference between organic and conventional foods is minimal. So, from a purely nutritional standpoint, it seems that neither has a significant edge over the other. But what about additives? Conventional foods often contain more artificial additives, such as preservatives, colorings, and flavorings, compared to organic foods. While many of these additives are considered safe, some people may choose to avoid them due to personal health beliefs or potential allergic reactions. Lastly, there's the question of antibiotic resistance. Conventional farming often uses antibiotics to prevent disease in livestock, which could contribute to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. This is a significant global health concern, as it could make it more difficult to treat certain bacterial infections in the future. In contrast, organic farming practices prohibit the use of antibiotics, thereby reducing this risk. However, it's important to note that organic foods are not completely risk-free either, as they can sometimes carry a higher risk of bacterial contamination due to the lack of preservatives. Now that we've chewed over the health impacts, let's wrap things up. So, are organic foods healthier than conventional foods? It's not a simple answer. Throughout our journey today, we've peeled back the layers of both organic and conventional foods. We've seen that organic foods, cultivated without synthetic pesticides or fertilizers, can be a more natural choice. They often come with a higher price tag, but for some, the investment in their health and the environment is well worth it. On the flip side, we explored conventional foods, which are typically more accessible and affordable. While they may be grown with the use of chemicals, it's important to remember that they still meet safety standards set by regulatory bodies. The crucial takeaway here? There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Your choice between organic and conventional foods should be based on your personal values, dietary needs, and budget. 
Whether you prioritize cost, environmental impact or nutrient content, the decision is uniquely yours to make. Remember it's not just about what you eat, but how you eat. A balanced diet filled with a variety of fruits, vegetables and whole grains is key to good health. Don't forget to check out the description box for our recommended health products and if you enjoyed this video be sure to like, subscribe and comment below. Until next time, stay healthy.